Hello and welcome to Going Function, where we do not care about if a game works, we only care about how much fun we're having. And the game we're playing today is Stellaris, a space strategy game? Well, we're going to be creating a new race here. Let's see, appearance. Wow, I think they added new humans. Oh, look at it, it's fucking Romulan. Uh, let's go with plants. We're going to be a plant race, we're going to be a race of plant people. So anyway, let me expand on a bit more about what this game is. Basically, you make a race of, like, a space civilization, and then you make them go out and conquer the galaxy, or, you know, make friends throughout the galaxy. You want to do something to the galaxy so your race is the best, obviously. Um, right now, we're deciding what we want to make our race. You know what, let's go with these fungoid people. Yeah, they look like they're ready to kick some ass. What are their names? Old... Torian? No, that's stupid. Uh, Keithy? No. Con3? No. Zyacro? No. No. Hez Hazar? Hazari? Hazarian? Perfect. Leader names. Let's go with fungoid names. Let's see, we're a fungoid. Here we go. Oh boy. Unpronounceable. Uh, let's see. I think the avian. Yeah. We'll give them bird names. Perfect. Oh, okay. Now we get to pick their traits. These are going to define like the overall characteristics of the species. Let's see. Let's have. Oh God, we got five points. Uh, I don't know what to do. Let's make them. Hmm. Industrious. They're very industrious mushrooms. Uh. Let's give them that. Okay, so we have to like, we have we have to make up for a deficit of points. I want them to live forever and be very industrious. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're looking for minus four. So we have to take non-adaptive. You know what? I'm fine with non-adaptive. Fuck habitability. You know the most important stat in this game. Fuck that stat. Uh, let's see. No, let's not do that. Uh, solitary, no, that's stupid. Sedentary, yes, they just don't like to move. That makes sense, they're fucking mushrooms, what did you expect? And weak, always take weak, there's no reason not to take weak. Except we're taking industrious on top of it, uh... Is he like a better version of, uh, god. I'll just take that. That is the mushroom. Hmm, okay. Ah, they come in different colors. Let's go with that. That seems like a good color. We're still with a male named Beak of Red. Yes, he's got so much red going on. Perfect. Where do these mushrooms come from? Uh, they come from a tropical world, of course. Pissome, Pissatar, sure, that's fine. Uh, they have mushroom cities, yeah. This is our government and ethics. This is going to define how we rule over this race. Mm -hmm. And depending on what types of ethics we take, we'll get different types of government. Sorry that I'm just kind of brushing through all this, but I want to actually play the fucking game. Let's see. Well, they're really good at mineral production, right? Let's give them more minerals. How do we get more minerals? Hmm. More minerals. More minerals. This is money. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's make them fanatic individualist and let's give them a uh, spiritualist outlook. Yeah. No, no, no. It would make more sense to go all science. Let's go. Uh, what's this give us? Oh wait, we don't want spiritualist, and we don't want... Okay, so let's be fanatic materialist, and let's be a little bit of... No, no. Don't want to be collectivist. Hmm. Don't want to be xenophile. You know what? Let's go with individualist, fanatic materialist. Should we switch these two around, actually? No, this is more science. Always take the more science. And let's see. What type of empire is this? These are our four choices. Uh, let's see. Happiness is always good. Reach the up. 
There we go, research alternatives. So we're going to be ruled by a scientific council, basically. Fantastic. What is our empire name? The Hazar Conglomerate? Sure, why not? Now we get to design a flag. Okay, let's base it after our glorious leader. So let's see, he's kind of like uh, split down the middle right there, so bottom half. Uh, what's a very mushroomy type of thing? Ah, uh, god. Sure, that, that's our flag. Actually, you know what, let's switch that. Purple on top, black on bottom. There we go. That's a flag that will strike fear <laughs> into the hearts of our enemies. Uh, ignoring armor, sure. Armor's going to be the most numerous uh, kind of thing at the start of this game. So, And we'll just go with warp travel. These are different methods of how you can get around the map. Hyperspace is like you see lanes in between and you can jump between specified lanes that just get automatically generated when the map generates. Wormhole stations... I mean, wormhole travel, you have to build, like, stations, and then you can jump away from a station, but then you have to jump back to the station, and then you can jump away. Warp travel is you can just go anywhere. It's the slowest method uh, out of all of these, but it's the most uh, popular one because you can control it. So, let's see, a fungoid ship. Perfect. This is our race, our fantastic race. Save. Okay. Let's just quickly hit done. Up, oh, actually, let's go back. We're gonna spawn in this other race I generated beforehand. This is the race I first played Stellaris with, and they're really crazy good. They're all about expanse. So we're gonna play as these guys. We're gonna go for the largest star system we can. <sighs> I don't know. Let's just, you know what? Let's do spiral forearms. That's what the Milky Way is. So, maximum number of AI. Let's give the I don't know. There's going to be 30 of us, 4 of them advanced starts, it's 2 for Fallen Empires, Habitable Worlds, let's go up to about 150 on that, AI Aggressiveness, let's go to, uh, actually let's just keep it normal, normal, uh, no cluster starts, this means instead of generating 4 per like segment of galaxy, they'll just place the Empires anywhere on the map, which is what we want, allowed FTL, any... Advanced neighbors, sure, sure, sure. All that's good. Ha! <clears throat> in the eons since the first primitive Hazar communities took shape in the dense jungles of Hisim, Hizom, our civilization has spread and prospered. Through scientific progress, we have managed to stamp out the superstitions that ruled the minds of our ancestors. As reason and rational thought spread among our people, then ineffectionate nation-states that we had until then organized ourselves into were disbanded, and a council of our most accomplished scientists was gathered to rule in their stead. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the Hazar conglomerate have finished development on the first warp drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Well, first things first, let's grab our science ship. Where is it at? Right there. Oop. 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 I'm hitting all the wrong buttons right now. There we go. So this is our planet. Oh, shit. Our planet is just a moon. That's kind of sad. Also, it's a bit more interesting. So we're going to send our science ship to survey the system. That's the path it's going to take. Our construction ship is idle. We're going to take our fleet of military ships to investigate there, 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 there. Where are we in the galaxy? Oh, okay. We're towards like the end of one of these arms. So our main plan of expanse is over here and over there. Oh, shit. And we spawn within the Deutori expanse? What is this? Okay, so we're going to be slower here. That's going to help us be a bit more defensive, though. So let's get our research going. We have four options. We're going to take this because it leads to having robots in our society. And who doesn't want fucking robots in our society? Racist. That's who. <sighs> Their names are just fantastic. Um, We're going to take colony ship. Always take colony ship so you can get new you know, worlds as soon as possible. That's going to be fantastic. Powered exoskeletons. We're going to take this because this is also going to help to get to robotics. Let's check out who's leading the science ship. He has anomaly research speed, that's fine. Uh, let's go back to our science tab real quick. This guy's gonna research things the fastest, so we're gonna have him research faster research speed, that seems fine. So let's just go ahead and start speeding this up. 
Wait, pause. Let's go into our home world. Let's go to the surface and let's see about destroying some things. Mm, okay. We're going to need lots of minerals. The first things first is let's build a new mineral mining network. And let's go over here. Let's clear this rainforest so we can get more minerals going. And then let's build up. Oh, let's build only one color bed. I, I wanted to build two, but we don't have the resources. No big deal. And continue. Rally points. That's new from last time I played. Construction complete. So, a new Corvette was made. We have just discovered some aliens. We're not going to worry about that for now, because they're likely not important. They are hostile, though. So, this actually brings up something we should do right away, which is look at our... Oop, they changed it. Where's it at? Policies. There we go. First things first, let's go ahead. We don't want slavery, unrestricted wars. That's fine. Purge, no, overall bombardment. Oh, we can't go full? Okay, that's fine though. Free migration, resettlement, nope. Voting rights, elitism, primary species only. First contact, peaceful, okay, fantastic. Yeah, okay, everything's exactly how I want it. Um, I think, is this physics research? Yeah, okay. We're gonna start spending some of our influence points over here on speeding up our physics research, so that way we can get faster Research overall. Physics. Bam. Now let's back to this. Oh, this little ship's following. Um, let's see. How do I change that? Okay. Details? Rally points are central locations for your fleets. Your fleets will go to the nearest rally point when you build rally points. Your fleets are on first front. Okay. You know what? I guess I guess that's fine. You can join the first murder. Yep. Pause. There's new ships here, and they are now idle, which is sad. You know what? Let's just have them go straight down this arm, essentially. Can you get there? Yeah, you can. Once you're done, just come back there. Essentially, we're just having them scout for habitable planets, like there's one right here. That'd be great for us. Ooh, it's a Gaia world. Proceed with caution. So, we also kind of really want this colony ship to finish. Interesting, interesting. An active building. Uh, do we have anyone we can pull off of anything? Okay, we're building an ex excess of three food per turn. Uh, let's see. Now that's fine. Oh shit, we have a strategic research. I uh, resource, excuse me. Oh shit, that's nice, really. That is really nice. They didn't used to be able to spawn on those. Uh oh. This is a sentient race, which means we definitely need to expand to this planet quickly before they snatch it up. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead to go to our policies, and we're going to... up. Oh, you can only activate one of these at a time now. Yeah. That is 44 months. Um, let's see. You know what? We're going to go ahead, turn off physics research, and apply it to society research. We really want that colony ship so we can get this guy a world, because every species in the game can live on it. And as we get more and more species into our empire, we're going to want all the species to live someplace. So where's the first murder at? Okay. So okay, so they contacted us. Pitiful creatures know that we've roamed the stars eons before your hapless species mastered spaceflight. If any of you wretched little ships cross into our space, do not expect them to return. <laughs> Who is this speaking? What? So these are our little ethic choices, and the mixture of your ethics that you choose uh, dictate what responses you can use. Who... Who is, I don't know, this is 
speaking. I feel like that's a little bugged. Um, we're gonna go with our citizens all send their regards. And these people are really happy that they found a thing. This is actually a fallen empire. We live fairly close to it, so that's not fantastic. But still, at least we don't live as close as this guy. Oh, this guy's gonna die. System survey complete. Oh, sweet. We have now seen everything that there is to see within this area, so we're gonna start sending our construction ship to do stuff. Build a station there, then after that, build a station there, then build up. Oh, then we're out of minerals. No big deal. Switch it. Good. You go science over here. Go science that. Hmm. Ah. So, I guess our main goal is to try to take up this entire ring. Anomaly found. Up oh, anomaly. Ooh, we are not doing that. Leave B for now. I guess what we could do is start uh, trying to talk to some of these people. Hmm, where is it at? Uh oh, hostile ships. Alright, no one's attacking us, so that's fine. Anomaly, that's fine. A leader has gained a level, that's fine. We want to go ahead and talk to. Construction complete. Oh god, uh, let's see. This place is going to be running out of food shortly, so we should think about taking care of that. Oh, but we have another resource right here. Let's build a mining station. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. This gets you a bunch of, like, free research and shit. Who cares? Actually, you know what? We'll call this an episode for now. Hey, Sar. Boom, save. So, see you next time. Same... Oh, I don't know. I was going to say same bat place, same bat time. That doesn't really make sense. I don't care. See ya.